Hi, welcome to another video. I saw that many people are using so-called intelligent terminals like warp these days. Well, I don't. And my terminal is still intelligent and not crappy and slow like others. I don't need to sign into an account to use my freaking terminal. And no telemetry is collected for non-AI features either, which is kind of cool. So, let me just show you how you can have a terminal like mine that is fast, has intelligent AI features, and is under your control. And the best part is that it all looks good. Now first of all, you'll need to find a terminal that you want to use. You can use anything you want, even the built-in terminals. But I like to use Ghosty. It's a good terminal that's built in Zig and is crazy fast. By fast, I mean it's snappy, you see text as soon as they are streamed in, and everything like that, which is insane. Just get it installed. Now, it will open up, and you may see that it doesn't look as good as mine. Well, for that you'll need to do some config, like setting background colors, font, and much more. I'm not going into too much depth about that, as you'll find a bunch of resources on that just for reference, background and stuff can be set via the config file. My config file looks like this. For this prompt and stuff, you'll need to use Starship, which is something like this, and you'll need to install and configure it accordingly. Now, that's the base terminal setup, however. Next is the AI config, because everyone wants that. So, I use two things. First, I use the LLM tool from Simon, and I also use another one called Ader. Now, let's first start with the LLM tool. This is the repo, and you can just run pip install LLM, and it will get the package installed. Now, you can just run LLM set keys open AI, and set the API key right there. If you want to use Anthropic, then it has a plugin that you can install by just running LLM install LLM Anthropic, and it will get installed. Then, you can set the LLM key as well accordingly. Another thing that you can do is to use Gemini with it, as it is free with some rate limits, and is great for such stuff. Just run the LLM install LLM Gemini command, and then set the API key, and just use it. Then, you can send in a message like this, and it will just run it through there, and give you the output. Now, you may say that I also want to run the terminal commands directly with it. So, you can do that by installing another plugin to it called LLMCMD, and then you can just run the LLMCMD command and give it your query. It will give you a command which can then be run, which is obviously kind of cool. Now, this is all good. But people also want to use it for coding as well. Like Warp, I think, has such a mode. So, you can just use Ader with it. You can install Ader with this command, and then set the API key accordingly, and then start it. You can just use it to do any kind of coding. It is one of the best AI coders, and it's on your terminal if you like that. And it has a bunch of modes and everything. So, that's how you can easily have a snappy and better terminal than Warp, that has AI features, and actually looks good rather than the warp terminal, which looks actually like a terminal. And you don't need to sign into an account to use a freaking terminal. Just go ahead and use it, and let me know what you guys are using, and everything like that in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.